friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday, it's Monday so it's meal prep day. I have two pumpkin recipes for you and wait until you hear what they are. They're breakfast, they're dessert and then I have a really good easy, realistic, on-the-go lunch recipe for you as well. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for all three recipe eBooks. We have breakfast, we have lunch, and I just released the third eBook in the series, Dinner. It is fantastic. All three eBooks have fifth recipes with all WW plan points included as well as calories. I'll be releasing the fourth and final ebook shortly so make sure you're stocked up on the three that are already out and available. Also you'll find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories highly highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and of course my Facebook group Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you is also down in that description box. So we have some cooking to do. Let's jump in. this week we are doing everything pumpkin we are making pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice overnight oats I am really excited for this I haven't had oats or overnight oats in so long so let me show you what's in our recipe first you're going to need pecans the recipe calls for chopped pecans I'm just going to chop these halves up fun fact my in-laws live in Green Valley Arizona which is the pecan capital apparently of Arizona so they always send us a big bag of pecans every year from their local pecan factory so that's really fun they're really really good pecans I do have to say you're also going to need some almond milk vanilla extract maple syrup rolled oats, pumpkin pie spice. This is pumpkin puree. This was from a different recipe. This is what was left over from the can. This is the unsweetened one. So no added anything, just the canned pumpkin. And then you're going to need some jars for your overnight oats. So let's get started on breakfast. I didn't mention that you're going to need some sweetener as well. Of course, I have the Lakanto monk fruit. This is my all time favorite sweetener. Of course, I will link Lakanto in the description box with 15% off. So we're going to get started on our overnight oats. The first thing I'm going to make is the pumpkin puree. So I have a pretty small bowl here. I'm going to add half of a cup of the pumpkin puree, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener, three tablespoons of maple syrup, and pumpkin pie spice. The recipe calls for about three quarters of a teaspoon. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon because I love pumpkin pie spice. And then we're going to whisk this together until full mixed. And here's the pumpkin pie puree. Now we can uh, start assembling the overnight oats. So for the oats themselves, you're going to need a mason jar. This is, I don't even know what ounces. I would say like a medium sized ball mason jar. We're going to add half of a cup of rolled oats. You can use quick cook oats if that's all that you have on hand. And then we're going to add half of a cup of almond milk. And I always like to kind of swirl that around. I just want to make sure that the oats are getting wet in the almond milk. We're making four overnight oats total. So the recipe says about three tablespoons of the pumpkin pie mix to each jar. So I'm going to add three tablespoons. And again, just give that a quick swirl. Look how pretty this is already looking with that pumpkin added. And then we are going to put our lid on and set these aside. And then we are simply going to repeat and make up the other three jars. I 
oven preheating to 325 degrees. I coarsely chopped up half of a cup of pecans and I'm just going to put those out on a sheet pan and we're going to toast these in the oven for about seven to 10 minutes just until they get toasty. So pecans are out of the oven. They're nice and toasted. I'm going to let these cool for a couple of minutes. I grabbed a Ziploc bag to throw them in. When you go to prepare the overnight oats the morning that you're going to eat them, you will add a couple tablespoons of the chopped pecans to the oatmeal. That way they stay nice and crispy rather than getting a bit soggy if you were to add them prior to them sitting in the refrigerator overnight. So let's go over the points and calories for our overnight oats. So our recipe made four servings total. These look so good. They're going to be pumpkin spice goodness and the sweetness will come from the maple syrup and the Lakanto. We have our nice toasted pecans here. Again, you're going to add a tablespoon or two, just divide it by four to the top of your overnight oats before you eat them. So again, four servings. It is eight points on the blue and green plan, only five on purple because you don't have to count for the oats, but I can't wait to have this all week. I'll probably have this with either a hard boiled egg or a scrambled egg for a little bit of added protein. You could have it with some fruit, both of which are zero points. So I can't wait for pumpkin pie overnight oats. this week I'm making chicken salad with broccoli and pasta this is going to be so quick and easy this makes a great meal prep a great portable lunch to take to school or the office I'm really excited for this so let me show you what's in the recipe first you're going to need some pasta and of course I'm using my fiber gourmet this is a staple in my house we really don't buy any other pasta this pasta has the best taste the best texture it is only 100 calories per serving versus 210 of traditional pasta which makes this pasta two points that is it for a full two ounce serving of pasta two points versus five or six of traditional pasta. It also contains 25 grams of fiber, 17 net carbs, and seven grams of protein. It's just such a good pasta. It comes in several shapes, elbows, penne, rotini, and linguine, which is like a spaghetti noodle. They have the best price and the biggest selection, so I'll link nutrition down below for you. You're also going to need some broccoli, light shredded cheese, a medium red onion. This is half of a really large Red onion, some non-fat Greek yogurt, chicken, light mayonnaise, sweetener of your choice, again, Lakanto monk fruit that is linked down below with 15% off as well, and apple cider vinegar. The first thing I'm going to do is get my chicken cooked up. I'm going to cook it here in a skillet. I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray topped with a little salt and pepper. We want to get this cooked up and shredded. While the chicken is cooking, I'm going to dice up my red onion and I'm going to cut my broccoli just into smaller florets. I have some water coming to a boil and we're going to cook our pasta per package directions as well. While everything is still cooking, we're going to put together the sauce. So I modified the recipe and did one cup of light mayo and then one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt in place of two cups of light mayo. That really helped reduce the calories and the points. And you won't notice the Greek yogurt at all when it's mixed in with the cup of mayo. Half of a cup of monk fruit sweetener and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And then go ahead and give that a stir until mixed and set aside. I'm going to add the cooled and rinsed pasta to the salad mix. You can see I shredded up all of the chicken and I'm going to give that just a quick stir before I add in my broccoli and my red onion. I have my diced up broccoli, which I did cut into smaller chunks and then I diced my onion really small and I'm going to add both of those. And again, I'm going to stir to get those fully incorporated. The last thing we're adding into our salad is our light shredded cheese. This looks delicious. And lastly, we're adding two cups of light shredded cheese. And then also give that a big stir and that is going to complete my lunch meal prep. This looks incredible. What a perfect, easy, satisfying lunch. You have cheese, you have chicken, pasta, 
You have veggies in there with the broccoli and the red onion. This looks so good. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of black pepper to the salad, and then let's go over points and calories. This big, huge bowl of pasta salad makes only eight servings, so that is quite a large serving. It is six points on the blue and purple plan, eight points on green because you do have to account for the chicken on the green plan, but this is a complete lunch. Pair this with some fruit and you have a perfect six or eight smart point lunch. I can't wait for this all week. dessert this week. I have to say my husband is thrilled about this. I am making pumpkin cheesecake balls. These are incredibly low point. You're not going to believe it. Low calorie. The perfect pumpkin sweet treat would be great for Halloween or Thanksgiving. I can't wait. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First you're going to need some ginger snap cookies, graham, graham cracker crumbs, Powdered sugar alternative. This is the Lakanto powdered. And of course, again, Lakanto is linked down below with the, with the discount. And then these are the Lily's white chocolate chips. You could use baked believe chocolate chips, whatever your preference is. We're going to finish up that leftover pumpkin puree. You'll need some salt, pumpkin pie spice, and one third less fat cream cheese. To get started on our cheesecake balls, you can see that I added two ounces of room temperature cream cheese and then i'm going to add one tablespoon of the lakanto powdered sugar and then we're going to mix this together until creamy i had 300 lily's white chocolate chips total i took just a handful of those maybe 50 60 of them and melted them down in the microwave we're going to add one quarter cup or i'm going to use just the rest of this pumpkin puree to that cream cheese mixture and then we're going to add in that melted white chocolate and once again we're just going to beat this until fully mixed we're going to add one quarter cup of graham cracker crumbs, about a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Of course, I'm going to add more and more like a tablespoon. And then we'll pop in a pinch of salt. I counted out 12 ginger snap cookies. I'm going to put all my cookies in a little Ziploc bag. And then I'm going to use just the back of my measuring cup and smash those into crumbs. Now we're going to add those crumbs to the mix. Stir everything together until fully combined. Here is the mixture. I'm going to cover this with some saran wrap and pop this into the fridge for a couple of hours. Three hours later. I just pulled out the mix and now I'm going to roll these into little balls. We want them about the size of a teaspoon. So they're going to be small, but because they're cheesecake, they're super rich. So we're going to roll these out. My goal is 30 little cheesecake balls, but we'll see how many I wind up with. So I got 23 cheesecake balls total. I'm going to pop these back in the refrigerator for just a little longer until they've re-hardened. So I went ahead and melted down the remainder of the chocolate chips in the microwave. I did add a tiny bit of almond milk. It just makes it a little bit more creamy. And what I'm going to do is drop the pumpkin cheesecake ball into the white chocolate. And then I like to just kind of drizzle the white chocolate over and then remove it and place it on a piece of parchment paper. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. We're going to do that with all of the pumpkin balls. Alrighty, here are the pumpkin cheesecake balls. These look absolutely delicious. 
Troy and I are both super excited to have these this week. Mine aren't as pretty as they showed in the recipe, but I did try one and they are absolutely incredible. I'm going to pop these into the refrigerator. I want that white chocolate to really harden and then I'll throw them into a storage container for the week. If you can get 30 pumpkin cheesecake balls out of your batch, they're only two points a piece, which is not bad at all for pumpkin cheesecake dipped in white chocolate. Now, as you know, I didn't quite get 30, so mine are three points a piece, which I don't think is bad. Like I said, very, very rich because they're cheesecake and white chocolate. So mine are three points a piece. Again, it just depends on how many you get out of your recipe, but I can't wait to dig into these this entire week. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you enjoyed all three recipes that I shared with you. Don't forget these recipes are on my website, which I will link at the top of the description box. You'll also find my three recipe eBooks. Don't forget to pick those up before the final fourth desserts snacks is released here shortly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and of course my Facebook group. Don't forget to join us over there. We have lots of fun things coming your way for the holiday. So come on over and join us there. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have the best Monday, the best week, and I'll see you in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Bye.